Hello and welcome to this table podcast review of the new Warhammer Age of Sigmar Grand Alliance Chaos Army book. Um, so I've just picked this one up. Um, there is a couple of things just to say first. One of the things that did surprise me compared to normal Games Workshop releases at the moment is this one didn't come wrapped. Um, I don't know why that is, but you can just pick it up. It does contain, I'll just flip it over because it is pretty big. Um, it says 156 war scrolls, 11 battalions. The interesting thing I, I do think is it's got 21 factions of chaos um, from all five chaos gods. Um, and 11 battalions. Now, you probably just noticed that I picked up, it's absolutely massive. It's really, really big. So, just to go through it, um, it does have 21 factions in the uh, the book itself. Um, obviously, it's also got the rules at the back, because every Age of Sigma book has to have the rules. Um, it is basically what it says on the tin. It's a big thick book um, it goes through hints and tips about how to play the game when to use abilities etc um, in terms of fluff and lore it has a little bit in terms of each of the uh, factions as they call it so for example Archaeon's ever chosen is these two pages we're straight into Archaeon and it's literally the War Scrolls. So if you recently bought Archaeon's book quite expensively, well uh, the faction the War Scrolls are here. Now that is all the book is is it's poor English there. Um and then we go into Slaves of Darkness, they get a couple of pages, we're back into War Scrolls straight away, and it does this all the way through and then it'll Corn Bloodbound, a couple of pages, back into the War Scrolls. Um, if you bought the Bloodbound army books and the Archaeon army books, and you bought them mainly for the War Scrolls, I think you'll be a bit annoyed um, with this release. If you haven't bought them, here you are, back at the Skaven. Interestingly, no Skaven slaves anywhere as well. Um, if you bought them for the Lord and the Fluff, you'll be absolutely fine with this. Now, it is a beautiful book. You know, it's got colour photos all the way through. It's got all the rules. It is what it says on the tin, basically. It's just the War Scrolls. Now, is it an essential purchase? Um, for me, personally, yes. Because I like to have physical things in my hand, especially when I go and play games. I really can't stand personally using an iPad, for example, or an iPhone, trying to flick between War Scrolls as, as you play. Is it essential if you have a limited budget and need to you know, save a few pennies on the hobby? Probably not. Um, it does contain all the War Scrolls, which are free anyway. Um, so it's really, I mean, it was only £20. Pounds. Um it's really that decision for yourself, really. If it's worth £20, having a physical copy of all the free War Scrolls. For me, it is. Um, for you, it may not be. But I'm really pleased with this book. It's absolutely massive. And I have a sneaking suspicion, shall we say, that they will be releasing a uh, three more of these. One for Order, Destruction and Death. And I'm pretty confident I'll be picking up every single one of them. So uh, thank you for watching. I just wanted a quick... Um, share to show you in case anyone was on the fence of thinking of picking one up um, and just see what you think. Okay, cheers, thanks, bye.